Well, we know what happened to the stock market in the first half of this year, but what happened to individual investors during this time? The world changes at a rapid pace in these modern times, and as investors, it's important to benefit and not be harmed by these developments. I'm Curtis Chambers, Certified Financial Planner at the Chambers Financial Group. The market crash that occurred primarily in March of 2020 is one for the history books. And we are now already getting our first data back on how individual investors fared during this tumultuous period. And to me, although expected, it was still a shock. Well, let's take a look. The only easy day is yesterday, but yesterday wasn't so easy. The market decline was the fastest bear market ever recorded after a new all-time high. It took only 19 days to go from all-time top to a new bear market. The financial media joined in with negative headlines and prognostications. Time Magazine featured a cover comparing the downturn to the Great Depression and indicating a long road back. Barron's also ran a cover showing the historic job losses in red. Barron's even ran a story entitled Lessons of the Great Depression, Preserving Wealth Amid the COVID-19 Crisis. We can now look closer at how the market performed this time versus the two prior pandemics we've experienced in the last 100 years. The similarity is striking. The total decline in 1918 with the Spanish flu in the Dow was 33%. With the 1968 Asian flu, it was 36%. And with COVID-19, the drop was 34%. Now, during the recent decline, investor sentiment showed extreme fear. As I covered here at the time, the fear index hit the highest level ever recorded. Fidelity indicated on March 13th that the market crash had reached a panic state with something called demoralization still to come. I'll take that to mean the worst. According to data from Fidelity Investments and LPL Financial, for investors of all ages, almost 18% sold their full equity holdings during this period. And nearly one third of investors aged 65 and older sold all of their stocks sometime between February and May 2020. In a related development, investors moved assets to cash at a record pace during the downturn. This chart shows the growth of money market mutual fund assets, which are a stable asset class and considered a safe haven. The implication is again that many investors sold their risk-based assets like stocks and bonds and moved funds to cash type stable instruments. Although we are still in a market downturn, we can now, with the benefit of 2020 hindsight, look at what happened next. The U.S. stock market, represented by the S&P 500, experienced its best quarter since 1998. The increase was 20 percent. What is more historically, a strong quarter has been followed by continued strength. Now, if we stretch the time frame to 50 days, we find that we recently had the best 50-day S&P 500 index gain of all time. That's incredible. And again, large 50-day percentage increases have been followed by continued strength in the market in the past. It's a funny thing about market downturns. I've noticed they never seem that bad in retrospect. But if I may say, I've never been through one yet that wasn't quite frightening at the time. I guess it is true when they say the only easy day is yesterday. If you would like to discuss the market events we have recently experienced or have any other questions, please visit me online for a Zoom meeting or call or visit our office. We're not in it for the short run, not even until the next market downturn. We're in it for the country mile.